Hi, this is Dorothy Smith, and I am going to do a card today that is made with one of our background die cuts. And so look at this pretty, so you can see all the holes that it makes, and it's got stitching through it and a sweet little scalloped edge. So I went ahead and off camera I cut these things and then I also used the Serenity card making uh, stamp and thin cut to cut this cute little bow here. I used our gold foil paper cardstock and I also cut, uh, and these are older uh, die cuts but I think we may still have these. They're a stitched heart. Um, so I cut a couple of those, and then this is some older paper, and if you have scraps uh, or you want to use something to substitute, I just coordinated all the gold to go together, but I hadn't used this, and it's so cute with those cute little hearts. I thought, okay, this is a perfect card to use that for. So i just going to go ahead and put it together, and um, I'm going to use my Tombow glue, which I think has been, I left it open. I have a problem with glue, don't I? I have a glue, glue problem. There we go, had a little head on it. So I'm just gonna dot the glue around. Just not getting by the holes. And then I'm using one of our four and a quarter by five and a half inch cards as my background for everything. And the nice thing about the glue is you can kind of kind of smush things around to get it straight get it just where you want it to be. So there we go, and then I'm going to uh, use the glue for this paper, cardstock actually, and I am just going to put it on a little bit of a slant like that. And then I had a stamp that was, you know, this little tag shape. And so I traced the stamp and then cut that out uh, by hand. And this is from, uh, I think, Lovely Paper. And so that is going to go on there also. And then my little heart, I'm going to use some foam dots to put, pop the hearts up a little bit. So I'm coordinating the little pink heart with this paper and the gold with, of course, the gold foil. And We'll put some pop darts on the hearts. Pop darts. What the heck am I talking about? Those things. So that's going to go there. But first I'm going to stamp a sentiment. So and I think I'll use a small foam dot. Maybe I'm thinking of pop tarts. You think I'm thinking of pop tarts? <laughs> Sid, your pop tarts are ready. That's um, one of the things that when lunch or breakfast is ready, I call my husband to come in and I hear from, from him, Sid, your Pop-Tarts are ready, which was, of course, from Toy Story. I know you know that. Okay, I'm going to put this sweet little heart uh, bow right there. Okay, so I am going to use the stamp with the Serenity card making. 
And this cardstock actually is um, candy apple. And so I'm using the candy apple ink for stamping. And let's see, is the, my two by two big enough? Yeah. I had, I've got nail polish all over me. I had a major nail polish accident today. Suffice it to say, I really miss getting, getting my nails done because good grief do I make a mess. Okay, these look good. I like that. With love. God, that came out great. Okay, I think I'm going to put this flat. You know, I always do things ahead of time that I shouldn't. Okay, so that's going to go like that, and then the little bows are going to go down. And then I am going to put my hearts. right here. So, there we go. And I'm going to put a little, um, one of the other uh, phrases from, from this stamp set. And I've used it before. So with love, it's going to be on the front, and just because you are special to me. I could put for someone special. I think I'll put this one. Just because you are special to me. Oh, that comes out nice. Okay, there we go. Oh, that came out really good. Okay, so there's my front and there's my back. And then, then I have my little doodle borders. This is the February stamp of the month. Okay, this is just too cute. I've got to use this. So I'm going to use this as a little border down here. And this is just adorable. And I'm also doing it in candy apple. And it says, love, joy, happiness, XO, hugs and kisses. So, okay, I really, I really like this. I like the way this is going. Um, and because you can't ever have too much, right? This is my other favorite doodle border from this stamp set. Ah, love it. Perhaps I should put the hearts this way. They go both ways, actually. Okay, I'm going to put this down here. And so, I mean, I just think this is the most adorable little border. So you are special to me. Okay, and then I've got my envelope. And I'm also going to decorate it. How am I going to decorate it? I think I'll put 
some hearts in the corner and hearts in this corner. Maybe I'll turn it around just to be different. So there's my little envelope. Yay! How cute. Okay, normally I don't praise myself. Anyway, I, I like, I love this background. Um, hold on a second, let me show you if I can find my die cut. Okay, I should be more prepared. This is called the Stitch Lattice Background, and this is what it looks like. So it really makes a nice background for like any type of a card. So you could get a lot of use and you kind of, you know, punch up the level of your card making by having a fancy background. Um, it adds a layer without having to do too much thinking. You know, and you've heard me before, I'm all for not thinking a whole lot. So anyway, there's my card. Because Just because you are special to me and love, joy, happiness, hugs, and kisses. Okay, so that's going to go to somebody for, th for not Thanksgiving, for <laughs> or Halloween, for St. Valentine's Day. So, here's Dots signing out. Okay, so here we go. Just so you know, Candy Apple. And... The doodle border. And serenity card making. So there we are. Ta-da! Thank you. Bye-bye. And just a reminder to subscribe to my YouTube channel and please give me a thumbs up. Thank you. Bye.